What's up everybody, Brian here, and I know it's been a long, long time since I've been able to do one of these videos, but uh, this is not a review video, this is an E3 2016 special, because I know I promised you guys that I would do this video, and I haven't done it yet. First, I just want to apologize for how long it's taken me to put a video together here. Uh, I've just been going through a lot of stuff right now, being stressed out with a lot of things, but uh, I've had some time come up recently and now I'm gonna try to get back to doing the videos you guys know and love. So let's talk about E3 last, uh, last month. And a lot to talk about here. I kinda wanna break down these press, confer press conferences uh, from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo's uh, Treehouse thing. One by one. So first, let's talk about Microsoft. Microsoft kicked off E3 with their press conference had a lot of interesting things to talk about. Um, let's just get right into it. Microsoft revealed at E3 the new, their newest console, the Xbox One Slim, which is officially launching on August 2nd, which is in a couple weeks. And it's gonna be $300. And this, I believe, is the two terabyte drive, but I think it's $400. So anyway, Xbox One Slim, uh, what that is is it does 4K uh, HDR gaming, which means it does upscale to 4K, or it'll have some high resolution. Uh, this is not gonna be the case for all Xbox One games. Uh, I believe it's gonna be for some first party titles only, such as Gears of War, Forza Horizon, and etc. Also, um, it's going to be coming in three different versions. You're going to have the 500 gigabyte, the one terabyte, and a new two terabyte console as well. So that is something to look forward to. Also, a couple other things about the Xbox One S or Slim is that it also is 40% smaller than the regular Xbox One. Now, I remember back when Xbox One was first revealed, I, that was one of the first things I commented about was how incredibly big the Xbox One is. However, looking at my uh, Xbox 360 and my Xbox One, it looks like the Xbox 360 is a little bit, it's about the same width as the Xbox One, the original Xbox 360, the white one I still have. So I think the size is a little bit similar, maybe the one is a little bit bigger, but the, the Xbox One S is definitely significantly smaller, which would be nice and will take up as much space. Also, the One S will allow you to vertically stand your Xbox uh, this time around for those who prefer to have their Xbox or their console standing vertically instead of laying flat or horizontally. Um, I don't know about you, but I've always been kind of a naysayer to having your console stand up, uh, being that it does sometimes put wear and tear on the disk drive and the laser and loading and all that stuff, but you know, to each their own. So there's that. Also, the Xbox One S controller or the console, rather, is going to come out with a brand new controller. Now the controller obviously is gonna look exactly the same as the other ones, however, it's gonna have a little bit more detailed grips on the back. Not to mention, this time around, they're bringing Bluetooth technology, finally, to their controllers, meaning that you don't have to plug the controllers into your computer anymore to use them. They just will be compatible with any devices that are Bluetooth capable, meaning that if you wanna play your Xbox One, on a Windows 10 tablet, and now with the Xbox One Universal Play integration thing, you can use your controller for that as well. Also, having said that, Microsoft announced at E3 last month that they are doing this thing called uh, Play All, or whatever it's called. And uh, <laughs> uh, it is a, um, I'm sorry, Play Anywhere, which lets you buy an Xbox One game and play it on the PC free, and vice versa. The first game that's going to allow you to do that will be Gears of War. And uh, it's an interesting feature. Uh, it's an interesting way to try to unite PC gamers and Xbox One gamers. And there is going to be the ability to have cross-play, which uh, actually, that is a new thing that is now capable on Rocket League, where you can now play people on PC as well as on the Xbox One. And maybe here pretty soon, you'll be able to play people on the PS4 as well. Who knows? So there's that. Also, a couple other things. Now play as General Rom on Gears of War. Uh, not free anymore. So if you didn't get him during the week of E3, he does cost money to get. 
Also, they also launched something called Xbox One or Xbox or Microsoft Design Labs, meaning that you can go online now and design your very own Xbox One controller. Uh, as far as colors go, so you can pick a color for the thumbsticks, you can pick a color for the buttons, you can pick a color for the uh, triggers, the D-pad. They claim there's over one billion, or sorry, eight million combinations. So then, coming this fall, there is going to be three new Xbox Live multiplayer features enabled. One is called Clubs, another is called Looking for Group, and another is called Arena. Clubs being the ability to create your own club for certain games. The looking for group is looking for a group to play like Halo or Call of Duty or Battlefield, etc. with. And then Arena is basically like a tournament style mode built into Xbox Live where you can actually create tournaments and things like that. Which is perfect for fighting games or racing and things like that. So those are coming this fall. Also coming later on soon, hopefully in the next month or two, is going to be background music, which everybody is looking forward to, which gives you the ability to play music in the background. Microsoft didn't go into too much detail regarding virtual reality at E3 this year. Um, they didn't mention really much about it at all. Uh, some other, you know, let's talk about games. Games that were announced during Microsoft E3 press conference were. Obviously, it talks about Gears of War 4 and the new Horde Mode 3.0 confirmed for Gears of War 4. Nothing else was said about Horde Mode. It's been very tight-lipped. Also, uh, the story mode is going to uh, kind of return to the classic Gears of War single-player cover shooting and things like that. Uh, they did demo the game at E3 this year. And also, Gears of War 4 is getting a special... Here's a War 4 Elite controller. You have to see this thing. The controller is beautiful. And uh, it's got some, uh, some marks on it, like some battle, battle damage done to it. It's got some scars on the, across the middle of it. Uh, the little uh, D-pad actually has like the Nash, the shotgun, the Lancer, and everything else uh, on it, on the uh, pictures of those on there. So that way you can just hit the button and boom, you're good to go. Um, however, also this is outside of E3. Uh, was just announced that there is also a special Gears of War 4 Xbox One S console coming out as well this fall. This con and it does come with the Gears of War 4 Elite controller. So, not sure what the price is on that yet. If you want to see that controller and that console, you gotta look it up. Those things are beautiful. It's a nice blood red console with the controller. It looks freaking amazing. Um, also, some of the things that were talked about was Sea of Thieves. Which is a multiplayer online game where you are, pi or you, uh, where you're a pirate, and you can build a ship together, and you can sell the seven seas. It's a very, very good-looking game. Uh, cannot wait to play that. Also, they did mention Scalebound, Platinum Games' newest What's game uh, with co-op and yeah, giant, lights, giant bosses, which is typically what they're known fail. for. Uh, if you they don't know Platinum Games, they created the this little game called Bayonetta a while back. They the also monster. did Transformers: Devastation, the newest Ninja Turtles game, Mutants in Manhattan. And this is their brand new game that's going to be coming out hopefully soon, called Scalebound. Then, we got into a game called ReCore. ReCore is made by KJ Anafune, which also created the Metroid games. Uh, ReCore is actually going to, only going to be $39.99, which is a great deal for that game. Um, be sure to check that out. It has a lot of similarities to Mega Man and Metroid. And then, of course, Final Fantasy XV was, was talked about more in detail. They also confirmed Dead Rising 4 with a holiday release, which looks amazing. It was like a little Christmas trailer, and uh, I cannot. And it looks like Frank West will be coming back in that as well. Forza Horizon 3 was also confirmed at E3 this year. Uh, it's going to have a four-player co-op gameplay installment, kind of like the club, I'm thinking, where you can drive around together and, or sorry, not the club, but the crew, where you can drive around. And it's also set in the Australian Outback as well. So there's that. Halo Wars 2 was also announced, and they do have they did have a demo that was out for a while. Halo Wars 2 looks amazing. Uh, Gwent has a new Witcher card game coming out. State of the Cakes 2 was announced. And then also this game called Inside, which is out right now. I highly recommend you check it out. And I am going to be uh, doing a review of that game here shortly. Uh, let's talk about Sony. 
Sony talked about their new console, the Mia. Uh, I'm sorry, and also Microsoft talked about Project Scorpio. It's supposed to be two teraflops, whatever that is. It's a lot of uh, good gaming components. I don't know a lot about hardware, but I know a lot about software. Uh, Project Scorpio will be coming out next fall in 2017. So I don't, that's all we know about Project Scorpio. Sony did talk about the new God of War game. That was a huge, huge thing they announced. Um, they also mentioned a lot of other games. They also mentioned Crash Bandicoot Remaster coming out with a possibly, hopefully, new Crash Bandicoot Come game. Uh, Last Guardian was finally talked about, and they finally, finally provided a release date for Last Guardian. So, about freaking time. And then, of course, Sony refused to mention anything at all now, what would you know about Neo, their new console, which no one knows when it's coming ahead, out. But they did mention about it. VR, and they showcased a lot of VR games. There's a Batman uh, a VR simulation. There's an X-Wing VR simulation, which looks really cool. I'm excited about that. I would imagine that these VR, these little short VR games might be a part of a package that uh, Neo is going to come out or that the Morpheus is going to come out with when that re releases, I think, this fall. The good news is, is anybody who owns a PS4 will be able to play virtual reality games. So you're automatically ready to go for VR gaming if you already own a PlayStation 4. Um, let's see. Other than that, um, they didn't mention anything else about Neo. We'll know, we don't know anything about that at, at all. Uh, a lot of other amazing games were announced at, on Sony's press conference as well. I don't have a lot of that in front of me. Uh, let's talk about Nintendo. Nintendo did not mention anything at all about the NX. Uh, except for it is going to be released in March of next year. That's all we know. Uh, however, somebody did say that they might be announcing and fully uh, releasing details on NX at the Tokyo Gaming Show, which is in September. So, looking forward to that. Uh, the biggest thing I wanted to talk about, really the only thing I think is, was worth to me mentioning at E3's Treehouse event, because you know they don't they don't go to E3 anymore, which is kind of sad, was the fact that. They released the name of the new Legend of Zelda game, which is called Breath of the Wild, and the game looks incredible. Uh, it's open world, you can craft your own armor, craft your own weapons, it looks sick, and for the first time ever in a Legend of Zelda game, full voiceovers. Don't know how I feel about that, I don't, we haven't heard what the Link sounds like yet, so I'm, I'm wondering what... Uh, what that's going to be like, but things can be good sometimes, and I'm looking forward to it. I, I can't wait. They also announced that this uh, Breath of the Wilds will be the first game available for the NX, so it's going to they're kind of do it like they did the Wii, where Twilight Princess was the last game for the GameCube, first one of the first games for the Wii. So um, I guess they're going to stop supporting the Wii U uh, probably after the next release. It's kind of sad. Um, Star Fox just came out. Uh, a lot of other games are still going to be releasing for the Wii U. But, uh, I don't know. It, it's kind of sad. I, I like the Wii U. I think it's a good console. Uh, they just, especially with them just making Mario Maker come out too, which is an amazing game. If you haven't played Mario Maker yet, I challenge you to go check it out. It is an incredibly fun game with a limitless amount of time that you can do and, and put into creating your own Mario levels. However, thank you guys so much for uh, taking the time to watch this and for bearing with me on uh, making videos. I have really missed creating content here on YouTube. Um, there's going to be some more reviews coming up soon. I do plan on doing a review for the game Inside, which is incredible. Um, I can't wait to review it and talk about it in detail and go more about that game, uh, which was created by the guys who did Limbo. Played it video. Um, looking forward to a lot of other things coming out. Um, let me know if you got a 1S, if you like it. Um, I'm thinking about getting it. I kind of want it, but I don't know. I don't know right now if I want to spend the money on that when Project Scorpio is coming out. I don't know. Anyway, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. Thank you guys for following the channel and subscribing, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've missed it. I've missed you guys. I've missed creating content. Missed uh, doing things like this again. Talking about what I love. So, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching.
and uh, hopefully we'll try to get back to doing videos every week. I've honestly missed it. I can't say enough. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!